Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another podcast episode. Thank you so much for joining. How often, how much time do we spend thinking about how to improve? in any aspect of our life. I know I am an English teacher, so the natural topic today would be improving English, but it's irrelevant. It could be any part of our lives, whether that is health, fitness, work, family, relationships, anything. And I do believe that uh, we do need improvement, we do need uh, progress to give us happiness and give us peace. What do you think? In this episode, that is what we are going to be focusing on, and I'll be sharing with you some of my insights, some of my ideas with regard to this topic. Um, For me, one of the worst feelings and one of the worst things is feeling like you are standing still. Um, But we cannot always keep improving. We cannot always keep moving forward. Um, But we must continue to be consistent nonetheless. Everything has its time, doesn't it? Um, And you cannot rush the time. It will happen when it is meant to happen. I also think that you cannot believe there is going to be a time where everything is easy and everything is simple. That time, from my experience, will never arrive. Things will change and things might get easier than before, but there will always be challenges. And us believing that those challenges will disappear one day in the future will only lead to us having more suffering. So let's discuss in this podcast episode a couple different topics and how we can improve with those. Let's begin with the English aspect. How do you improve your English? I do go live on Instagram occasionally, and this is normally the most common question. How can I improve my English level? How can I speak better? How can I understand more? And the simple answer is by doing something you improve. But it's about doing things, doing the right things, and being consistent enough for a long period of time. So if we think about English, you need to be You need to have access to the right knowledge. You need to have the right positive influences around you. And then you need to do it for long enough to see improvement. You can take this as a red flag. If you have been doing it for a couple of years and you have not improved, then the problem is not the consistency, but the problem is the method or the process that you are using. Okay, but if you have only been doing it for two months and you have seen no improvement, then the problem is the consistency. You need to do it for a couple of years before you see that real change. Now, there are great books that you can use to improve. I love Raymond Murphy, Essential Grammar. I love the Speak Out English books, which you can use for learning great vocabulary and expressions. And there are so many free resources online. You are listening to this podcast for free. You can listen to or watch YouTube videos online for free at English Life with Benjamin. And uh, you can see so many great things on Instagram and TikTok. But I would just be clear and be focused on what your goals are. So whether you're trying to expand your vocabulary, whether you're trying to solidify the grammar knowledge, or maybe to... um, I don't know, improve your comprehension skills. Be clear about your strengths, be clear about your weaknesses, and focus on those. With that, you will see improvement one way or another. As we move on to our other topics, you will see that there are many similarities between the topics. So, thinking about health. How do you improve your health? Well, first things first, you need a very clear plan. What am I trying to achieve? Just like with the English. Am I trying to lose weight? Am I trying to build muscle? Am I trying to be more flexible? Am I just trying to be healthier in general? Whatever that may be, we need to know that before we create a plan. Once we have chosen our desired goal, we create a plan based upon that, and then we implement. Now, consistency is key. Just like you must study English at least five days a week, every day would be even better, you must also work on your health every day of the week. That does not mean that you need to run 10 kilometers every day, but it means every day you do something. Because even if you don't do something for one day and you lose the momentum, it is 
incredibly, incredibly more difficult to go back the day after you miss the day. Trust me. So creating that routine and keeping that momentum is so beneficial. And this applies to everything. Even if there is a day in which you do not want to do anything, you don't want to learn English, you don't want to do any work on your fitness or health, still do it. Go through the motions. That means just do it. It doesn't even have to be good, but just do it. And you will be grateful because there will be days, probably more days that you don't want to do it than when you do. Uh, and if you don't do anything on all of those days, then you are never going to see any improvement. So go through the motions, even when you're feeling bad about it. If we're talking about even your mental state as well, you need to create a plan. I think everything is about discipline, routine, consistency. However, even if you have a routine, that does not mean you cannot be creative within your routine. You could have a routine which says, every Friday I do something new. But that is a routine, isn't it? That is consistency. Let's think about the mental state for a moment, shall we? So what are some things that you can do to improve your mental state? Exercising is one of them. It gives you such positive energy. It clears your mind. It makes you feel better. It gives you more energy. You need to eat good, clean food. Even if the junk food tastes good when it goes in your mouth, if you eat good, clean food more often than not, you will feel better. Sleeping well, going to bed early, waking up at the same time every single day makes you feel better. Having goals that you try to strive for and achieve every single day, every single week, every single month make you feel better. Focusing on improvement, focusing on positive things make you feel better. So it's about having that plan and then it's about being consistent. And there are, of course, going to be days where you do not do everything you're meant to. There are, of course, going to be days where you make mistakes and you forget. But it's about if you look back on a whole year of your life, did you do it 90% of the time, 95% of the time? Yes, you did. Excellent. Then you will see more improvement. And lastly, I just have a little point about consistency and positivity. There are going to be days where you're not feeling positive, but you have to fake it until you make it. Meaning that you can almost trick yourself into being feeling better. You can trick yourself into being positive. I might wake up in the morning, I might be tired, I might have a lot of work to do that day, and I don't feel like doing it. But I tell myself I'm lucky. I'm grateful, I'm positive, I'm happy. And you might not believe that in the beginning, but if you tell yourself that's those same sentences for the next 10 minutes, you will slowly but surely start to really feel that way. Uh, so it is a training. I will leave you with one final anecdote. When I teach my classes, I think it's very important to leave all of the garbage, all of the rubbish, all of my mental thoughts behind because no student wants me to impart my stress or my problems onto them. So I have had to learn how to completely and utterly disconnect from all of my problems when my classes start. That was very difficult in the beginning, but it was essential because if I if I wasn't able to do that, and if I'm not able to do that, then I can assure you my students' experience will be much worse. And I think that that's something that we must do in life. We must be aware of our problems and be aware of our difficulties and try to fix them. But then once we have tried to fix them, we cannot sit in our sadness or negativity. We must try to shift or change our feelings. Maybe that means going for a walk. Maybe that means having a nice coffee. Maybe that means having a shower and just refreshing yourself. Maybe that means talking to a friend or a loved one. Who knows? Each person has their own things that make them feel better. But for sure, one of those things is going to work, right? So try to take these things on board. In the bad days, realize that things are still good. Things could be worse. Uh, focus on the plans that you have for the future. And I think consistency is key. If I think about any success that I and we have had, it comes down to consistency, planning, positive thinking, and also trust in the process.
Thank you so much for listening, everybody. I, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you took a few things from this episode. Um, and it was a pleasure to spend this time with you. I wish you a lovely rest of the day. Uh, please feel free to give this an, a five-star rating if you enjoyed. And you know that we also have the YouTube channel. And we also have the Instagram channel at English Life with Benjamin. Have a lovely day. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.